Everyone picks brackets for March Madness. Hell, your grandma's probably filling one out as you watch this, and she hasn't seen a game since the Johnson administration. Let's face it though, unless you're really lucky, your bracket will get busted. Upsets are inevitable. Every year, Cinderella teams come out of nowhere and destroy your chances. How do these teams keep dancing past midnight? Is it magic? Or is there a science behind who wears the glass slipper? Let's take 13 Cinderella's from the past six tournaments and see what they have in common. Pulling down defensive boards limits your opponent's scoring opportunities. Five squads had rebounding percentages above 74%, far better than the tournament average of 71%. That's two to three scoring chances each game ripped from the other team's hands. For those teams who don't have the advantage inside, the three-pointer can level the playing field. While shooting percentage is important to some extent, a demonstrated willingness to launch trays correlates far better with Cinderella success. Eight Cinderellas average 20 or more threes in a game. If you get hot, you're gonna be tough to stop. Another indicator is ball handling and control. Five of our teams had turnover differentials of three or higher. That means three more takeaways than giveaways each game on average. Not quite as strong, but still worth a look are giveaways and takeaways on an individual basis. Of course, sometimes you're lucky to get placed somewhere near campus. George Mason, which as an 11 seed in 2006 became the first mid-major to make the Final Four, played its Sweet 16 and Elite Eight games 15 miles from home. Finally, teams who've been to the dance in the recent past know the pressure and are determined to do better than last time. The 2008 Davidson team was anchored by sophomore Stephen Curry, but he was surrounded by juniors and seniors on their third trip to the dance. Cornell, in 2010, was stacked with seniors who tasted the sting of first-round defeat the previous two seasons. Butler's 2010 run was its fourth consecutive tournament appearance. Then there are the factors that you just can't quantify. Heart, will to win, togetherness. Simply being the underdog seems to drive a lot of teams to outperform. But remember, in a given matchup, each of these teams will have the odds against them. Any of them can get hot for one game, but to do that two, three, four games in a row? Beyond the science, that might take a little bit of magic.